This is my usage experience of Pixel OS for the Redmi GT2. I will show the build date on screen and I have been using the ROM for more than a week now and let me walk you through how it is to use this ROM. The first thing you will notice right after setting it up is the overall refinement. I used to describe the old Pixel experience ROM as having a flow and this ROM also has it. What I mean by that is all the animations happen at a very chill but very consistent pace so it feels very predictable and smooth. The haptics are also well tuned and it complements the smooth UI. All the banking apps also work well out of the box. I haven't used root in a while so I am not sure how it is with root but out of the box all banking apps do work fine. A surprise I came across in this ROM is the cinematic color profile. Usually custom ROMs only uh, come with natural and vivid modes but this ROM does have a cinematic color profile. Also this ROM does not have much color shift when transitioning between refresh rates. Uh, in many ROMs there are you can visibly see the screen temperature change. This ROM has it well under control I would say around 98% of the time you can't even notice any screen color shift. Most of the ROMs I have seen has it when it uses 90Hz refresh rate but this ROM does not seem to use 90Hz at all it directly switches from 60 to 120 which is like a band-aid to the problem and it's not the best for battery life but hey uh, it works. The gaming performance was also nice, uh, you don't have the option of unlocking 90fps in BGMI but playing at 60fps the frame rates were consistent most of the time, the temperatures were also mostly in check. You also have the default Google game mode which has a few features like screen record, fps monitoring and do not disturb mode. Another surprise I ran into with this ROM was the battery life. Typically I am used to getting around 3.5 to 4 hours of battery life. But in this ROM I managed to top it at 5.5 hours of screen on time and my usage is pretty intense with 5G on hotspot on most of the time. Even though I managed to achieve a screen on time of 5.5 hours, I did it from 100% but nowadays I am used to uh, limiting the charge to 80%. So typically I get around 3.5 to 4 hours of screen on time from 80% of charge. Which is excellent considering this phone is infamous for its bad battery life. Another thing regarding battery life on this ROM is that the battery saver mode actually makes a difference. I have noticed in many ROMs that either it does not make a difference or in rare cases it might even make things worse. But in this ROM, the moment you turn on battery saver, the ROM just sips battery and you can see a very noticeable difference. The ROM also keeps temperatures in check most of the time. Now there have been some occasions where it did hit on me while doing casual stuff but for the most part it keeps temperatures well under control. So those were the things I liked about the ROM. Coming to the cons, I would say uh, if you are a hardcore gamer, not having the 90fps unlock uh, might hinder your experience. The AI video also does not work in the stock camera app and it uh, freezes the app. Apart from these two minor annoyances, I don't have any major problems with the ROM. The overall summary of my usage experience is that the ROM is very polished and is also well tuned. That it feels like a stock ROM. For any casual to intermediate users this ROM would make you feel right at home. The only users I don't recommend this ROM for is the extreme customization enthusiasts or the extreme gamers. I would say for most people I do suggest you guys to try out this ROM and you will be pleasantly surprised by how well it works. And one more thing, uh, this is one of the few or I think this might be the only official ROM for this phone as of now. Yes it does not make a big difference but uh, at least for namesake it is official. Now one thing to note is that official does not mean official from realme, it just means that it is officially verified and published by the team who makes the ROM. So that has been it for my experience of Pixel OS for the realme GT2 and see you guys in the next one.